Hey, what's up? It's Tony. I hope the videos that I'm doing you're finding helpful. I wish that I had somebody to give me this information at the time. So here we go. Today's topic is hygiene. What I wanted to share with you was very specific because it's something that I noticed that happened um, after it caused me a great deal of pain. And again, these videos are to take the pain from here to here, not from here to here. So During the time of wearing a catheter, there is going to be sometimes some leakage, um, sometimes some blood from trauma from the catheter being inside the body, you know, hitting the inside walls of the bladder, sometimes trauma deep inside of the urethra, many region, reasons. There's also to probably, if you're going to have the catheter for an extended period of time, there will be probably some uh, residual semen that is just expelling itself through your body, not through ejaculation, not through anything, it's just the way the body works, it just ends up coming out on its own. And what ends up happening is that as much as I was diligent about my cleaning and everything else, I didn't want to get a UTI, which I did anyways, because it's almost inevitable after four weeks. Is that it wasn't until I went to move and there was additional pain, but not the internal pain, it was more at the end of where the catheter goes in and I had didn't know what was going on because the pain was quite excruciating it felt like there was something scraping the inside of my business and I had looked down and I had noticed that there was a build up of sort of like a sandpaper kind of texture around the opening of I mean around the end of the catheter and where my body where it went in. So, all right, I didn't know exactly what that was. And actually I called the urologist because that's what I kept on doing all the time. And they said that was, uh, you know, additional buildup, you know, that you had to take care of, which they didn't tell me that, uh, well, somehow there's a reaction between the rubber and certain bodily fluids that somehow it cr crusts up quickly and very fast there's an interaction and it creates like a sandpaper texture which can you imagine causes a hell of a lot of pain just inside where the penis is so here's the catheter what i'm trying to talk about and I, i'm just trying to get around saying it where the catheter comes out of your pee hole right like here right all day long this thing is moving in and out as you take a step and you take a step so what happens is is that slightly inside if you put to pull the catheter out pretend this is a penis, right? You pull the catheter out a little bit and right around here is a buildup that you've got to actually take care of so it doesn't turn into sandpaper on the inside of your pee hole and cause you more pain. I don't know how else to put it and <laughs> I'm not trying to be gross, not trying to be vulgar. I'm just trying to let you know so that you can save some pain. So what happens is that if normally daily it sits like this, right? Yes, my fingers are pretending to be a penis right now, is that if you pull ever so slightly back down, right, the catheter, right, you'll see that there is a buildup right there, right, that you wouldn't normally see if your penis was sitting right there, that has to be cleaned out as well because it collects literally like sandpaper, like a grit. Sorry, gross, I know, it has nothing to do with hygiene, it just has everything to do with this foreign object and how it's hitting the fluids in your body and how it's quickly turning them into something that's kind of crunchy that's causing pain inside the penis head. And I'm only doing this because I want you not to suffer like I did because I had no idea what was going on and I wasn't trying to fiddle-faddle down there anyways or barely look at this thing the entire time it was in, but that's what, um, what ended up happening. And of course, yet again, nobody told me. So that's the purpose of the video. I hope that it helps. Again, right, be extra diligent around the tip and then back in slightly. I'm not saying tug this thing out of your body, but slightly around there because it's almost like, like when the air, you know, of whatever the fluid, once the air hits it or the oxygen hits it, right, it just turns into something that is very uncomfortable very, very quickly. Unbelievable, I know. I know, all in the name of taking what I learned so that you don't go through this hell that I went through. So, there it is. By the way, somebody wanted to know like uh, what was going on with my catheter here 
because it's kind of like bandaged or taped together. And actually what I did was I actually cut it because I wanted to see what was inside because I'm working on a, a project um, so that um, I'm, this thing can be less painful uh, based on the anatomy of the body and the range of motion and the geometry and you know how much you know leg movement it takes anyways so that's why the, the catheters normally don't have that on it but i cut mine inside because it was for science so that's what's going on with that it's not broken